Good morning everybody. I'm going to be continuing this piece. It's the messy abstract looking piece from the other videos that I've uploaded. Um, that I'm hoping to I'm hoping to demonstrate how to just throw things around and hopefully bring out something that looks quite cool, even though you didn't really try, you just make it a mess. Um, because it's fun, it's a good exercise. And I'm hoping to bring it together using suggestions from you guys. And we have a suggestion. We have a suggestion from the always lovely Bunny Rain. And she writes in to say, uh, she writes in to say, she says, Dear Sean, your, I was going to say music videos, which suggests this isn't a real letter, doesn't it? It's definitely a real letter, look at the handwriting. Dear Bunny, no, that's wrong as well because it doesn't start with Dear Bunny, does it? It starts with Dear Sean. I've been watching some of your YouTube videos and I think they're among some of the best YouTube videos I've ever seen in my life. In fact, I strongly encourage anybody who's watching this video to go back and watch some of the earlier ones. My suggestion is, she, she says, uh, can you put something in the eye? What did she say? Oh no, you should have something sticking out of the eye. And can you put maggots around the mouth? So let's put maggots around the mouth and let's uh, put something in the eye. I'm going to do a meat cleaver, that's what I'm going to do. And I've got my colours for the meat cleaver. I've got a brown for the handle and a grey for the blade. And the maggots are going to be this really nice colour, this coral pink from Posca. It's very nice. Um, and I'm going to do the teeth as well. So let's get on with it and let's do that. No, let's not get on with it. Let's not get on with it because um, <coughs> rather cringily. Um, well, it's not cringy, but you know what I mean. Um, I've made a, a little Facebook group. I had a Facebook group for a while and then I just cancelled it because um, it didn't really seem to be going anywhere. Um, I, know, I think Covid happened and I just couldn't be asked with it. But whatever, I don't know. Anyway, I've called it the Talmanites, which is a bit cringy, but I don't really know what else to call it. I've called it the Art of Sean Talman group before, but um, I didn't like that either because the Art of Sean Talman sounds pretentious. I hate that I'm called that, but I always think, well, what else would I call it? I'm Sean Talman and this is my artwork. But it always sounds really cringy because it makes you think, well, who's he? Who's, who's, I've never heard of him. So why should I care about his art? But so yeah, I've called it the Talmanites. If you're on my Facebook, or even if you're not on my Facebook, um, go over to there, go over to, um, just, just search that, just search that and join it. Okay, just search that, join it, and you can make suggestions and stuff as to what I should add to that. And I'll add whatever you want, so long as it's not, a, uh, you know, a dick. Or a minge because I won't get away with that on the socials. But um, yeah, I'm going to be putting a meat cleaver in the eye and maggots around the mouth today. So let's do that. Let's go, go, go. In the background, you might notice I've added some uh, well, background ambience. It's just some weird music that I made ages ago. Because um, I thought having some sort of background ambience is better than having a background ambulance. Because usually my bedroom window is open and you can hear cars going past and people talking and there's kids going around the street today learning how to ride bikes and stuff. So anyway, I just thought that provides some kind of audio backdrop for when I'm not talking as much. Um, now then, yes, great. Let's let's. Good thing about these pens is the the uh, the paint inside, not the ink, but the paint. That's what's so good about them. It's usually so thick you can just go straight over the top of what else you've done. I'm going to draw a meat cleaver. How am I going to do this? Let's uh, let's just put it like that. Leave some room for the handle. That's the bit that goes into the handle. And then let's do this. And then, do you guys want to zoom in? Yes, please. There you go. And... I'm going to do that because that's this bit that isn't here is the piece that's stuck into the eye. You see how it makes sense, all comes together. And then colour that in. It might need one or two layers because I'm going over the top of the darker colour. I'm trying to go over that black there. But it would be alright. So boom, there we go, we have, our, we have our handle and our blade. And am I doing blood? Should I get the red out to do blood in the eye? 
No, let's not, because that's predictable. And this is a weird abstract piece, so I could have it hitting this this eyeball in a, in a more weirder, abstract kind of way that fits in with what I'm doing. Or maybe this is like super cartoony, and there's a really cartoony looking amount of blood just to um, juxtapose, is that the word? Juxtapose the rest of how it looks. Do you know what I mean? So there's like a visual conflict between something really cartoony and then the weird abstractness of the rest of it whatever we'll come back to it because it's got to dry anyway um right let's get purple out i've got a thing for doing purple gums at the moment and another good color for gums if you're wanting to do like a gross looking mouth is um green green works really well because it just kind of suggests like especially if you're doing a zombie it kind of suggests a uh, dirty smelly unwashed mouth um but this is, I usually do the gums first, like this. And I let the gums suggest the size of the teeth, because look, I'm just kind of making the gums very uh, uneven. Oh, and I, I decided this is going to be like the um, where the teeth end, because I thought that was quite good. Um, I ran the water down in another video and I shook it, and I was kind of hoping it was going to spread out all over the place, and it didn't. It kind of just ran off at an angle. But then that's opened itself up to be the teeth. So, you know, it's, it's all about making making it work, you know. Oh, that's what kind of gives it the uh, random, abstract look and feel. Let's do the old gums. All right, and of course, yellow teeth has to be yellow teeth. That's the wrong yellow colored pen. Where's my other, my other yellow? There we go. A slightly new thing I've been doing because I just think teeth have to, um, I don't know, I just really like drawing teeth and I like doing really detailed teeth. And I'm always thinking, what can I add to it? And in some of my newer pieces, I've started using orange to do plaque like plaque between the, the top of the teeth and, and the gum. And that looks lovely when you do um when you do green coloured gums. Because orange and green always go well together. And yellow and purple as well, that was one of my favourite colour schemes for ages. I love yellow and purple. I'll tell you what always looks nice is um the packaging <laughs> going back to packaging from another video. Um, Cadbury's, like the that dark purple colour with the gold, I love that, but, but you can't really use it for anything because it just makes you think of Cadbury's. Okay, so the first layer that I put on the meat cleaver blade has probably dried a bit, so let's go over it again. With some more grey, is that dry? Yeah, we're good, we're good. You can, it seems like you can just keep adding this Posca paint infinitely and it never gets any, um, it never gets any thicker on the page, which is good. It kind of dries very quickly. It dries nice and thick, but it lays itself quite thin. <laughs> that all makes sense but it's good it just means you can you can always go over the top you can always go over the top of like the other colors i mean right okay so let that dry again now and should we do another layer on the teeth i don't really do all right okay maggots maggots in the mouth squirmy wormy maggots I used to have a, um, uh, what was it, an African black millipede. It was one of those, I was going to say black ones with um, with red legs, but those are the poison ones, aren't they? So it wouldn't have been that. But um, yeah, I had a, had a millipede for a while. And um, weirdly, I had a dream that the millipede, um, that the millipede died. And it was so realistic, I had to go downstairs to check whether 
it was all white or not, and it had actually died. It was curled up in this little um, food bowl, um, which was slightly weird. Right, let's draw maggots flying out the uh, <clears throat> right. Let's draw maggots flying out the, the side of the mouth, so they're in the mouth like that, and then like another one, big ones and small ones, and they're going to be like flying out of the mouth. I had a bloody dream last night that um, I dreamt about these two friends I used to have, they were sort of big hairy looking guys, big metal heads, and um, I dreamt that one of them was in a supermarket and we were buying a load of drink and he had this signpost underneath his hand which had all these details on it, he was like holding a big piece of card underneath his arm <clears throat> and it had like his name, his address, what he's into likes and hobbies and stuff like that. It was like a dating profile written on a big piece of card that he was holding underneath his arm. And he was holding it in the direction of this girl that he fancied. And the girl was just made up for the dream. It wasn't anyone in particular. And she was, um, she kind of like got to know him through that. And she was like, kind of like, you know, getting really interested seeing this card that he was holding. <laughs> and it worked. And then they decided they were going to get married. And then suddenly I was in some kind of like, Viking country and um, this guy was a bit of a big Viking looking kind of guy like metalheads usually are and um, he I know something worse listening to someone's dream <laughs> I'm trying to remember it as it, as, as it went along it was fucking weird he, he, anyway he got married to this girl and he was in a field and it was like Finland or, or Norway or something and he did this like ritual uh, sort of like a Viking ritual thing, which involved burning a marshmallow on her back as a way of scarring her to say that you're mine. And then she, he, he put like a little puddle of chocolate sauce on her on her lower back, and then put a marshmallow on top of that and set light to it. And she was really in pain, and then he just scarred her with this like red mark. And well, that was it really. You can never really do dreams justice, can you? But um. Certainly had my fucking fair share of weird ones. Why I was dreaming about fucking him, man. I haven't spoken to that guy for about 20 years. Um, but, you know, there you go. Uh, right, what else? Um, might help if I start drawing, really, wouldn't it? Okay, let's go. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing next? Got the maggots in the mouth. Let's do the, uh, let's do the black eye outline for this. Let's put some detail on the blade. I had a dream when I was little that uh, these garages that were like a stone's throw away from my house. Um, you know where people just rent out garages for storing stuff or, you know, putting your car in or whatever. Um, there were some just a stone's throw away from my house. And I dreamt that the field there, there was like a big empty field next to it. I dreamt that there was a park that was built and it was um, a very specific looking park with like things I hadn't seen before like this rickety thing that you walk across it was like a platform you walk across it and it uh, kind of bends all over the place and stuff and I, I dreamt that there was a park there and you know believe it or not because this is a, a weird one but I really do remember it happening <laughs> um, the, the, the park actually ended up being built and it really was the park from my dream, including like the rickety thing that you'd walk across that bent everywhere. That I'd never even seen before and I, I remember dream, dreaming about that. And I was really young, I must have been like, I don't know, six. And there's, it was just absolutely the park from my dream. And I remember, I was always like the youngest, so staying around with my sister a lot and her friends and some of my friends, but I was always the youngest. So I wasn't really being listened to. And I just remember going around the park and yeah, I dreamt this, I dreamt that, I dreamt this. And no one's, you know, no one's paying any attention because I'm just a little five-year-old or whatever. Um, but it absolutely was. And I still swear to it, swear, I swear by it, you know, today. It's absolutely the park from my dream, which is really weird. Like, how did I <laughs> dream about this thing that I'd never even seen before? Um... But there you go, you know, fucking weird old world, strange things happen. Okay, there's the handle. If you want to really, if you like weird stuff like that, um, there's a great podcast called Other Worlds, or Other World. 
and it's all just about like paranormal stuff they talk a little bit about I don't know, aliens and ufos and but they talk about um ghosts mainly it's all just about ghosts and stuff and i never really believe anything like that but um this post podcast really good because it's like from what i can tell most people there, there's one or two stories on there where i think oh what a load of old shit and talk out your ass um but for the majority they're, they're really um the people sound sane you know what i mean whenever it comes to anything to do with like aliens or supernatural stuff ghosts and all that um i always think does the person sound because i think i'm quite a good judgment of character and I just think, does the person sound like they're sane? Like, listen to this person's story, listen to them speak, get a judgment of who they are and think, would I let them look after my kid? I haven't got a kid, but if I did, would I let would I let them look after them? And the people telling the stories on this podcast, they think, yeah, that just sounds like a totally reasonable person, but they, they're saying there was a little girl that used to run around my house or whatever, and I wasn't the only one who saw it when I lived there. Um... Yeah, you know, fucking weird stuff, but really weird supernatural stories, but from people who sound like they're totally with it, you know? People who haven't really got a reason to be talking bollocks. And I guess when you've had your own weird stuff, because I'm telling you now, I've dreamt about a fucking a children's park, a very specific one with specific toys and, you know, not toys, but whatever you call them, rides, I don't know. Um... And it absolutely came true, it really did. Um, so there you go. And that, that's a really young memory as well, and it's always stayed with me because that's how impactful it was. And I was telling people for a while, you know, I was telling friends at school, like, oh, I dreamt about this park, and then it actually happened. But no, no one believed me. And, you, you, you know, why would they? I don't blame anyone for not believing me. But there you go. I've had other weird stuff as well, which I might explain one day. I'll save it for another video later on down the line. But, um, yeah. Anyway, so, as I've just explained, that's how you draw <laughs> a, uh, a meat cleaver. There we go. And I think, as ever, this video is long enough as it is. And I've already rambled on about whatever. So, I'll probably keep it short and sweet. Not that it's short and sweet, I would imagine it's already fucking half an hour or 20 minutes or something. Let's just um, go in with a little bit of shading. Let's do that. And inside the little circle thing as well, so you know there's a little hole. Now oh, I need to, um, need to do that really, don't I? I've decided this blue area is going to be a, a thick and chunky kind of thing, a little bit like um, a sea urchin or something like that. No, just why not? Just to be super weird. Make it more than just, oh, this is the eye. Well, you know, turn it into something, make it more, more interesting. Make it weirder. Weird's good. So yeah, there we go. Just put a little bit of texture in there. Underneath there. Okay, so there you go. There's a little um there's a little meat cleaver. Sorry, hang on. Let me just do a little bit down the side as well. Who else has got a weird story? Going back to uh this. Got any weird ghost story things? Let me know, because I love hearing about weird weird ghost story stuff I've got another another smaller one as well what, what was it, it was, I dreamt about that centipede dying and then it had but that was just that could just be pure fucking coincidence it's nothing really um, the park thing was definitely like oh well that's fucking weird um, what was the oh, there was like a s smaller thing I remember it for another time but um, yeah should we put a little sheen onto this blade? Sort of like that. And then another little one there. Yeah, whatever, that works. Put some scratches on it. I will end this video, I swear. This is where I get carried away. This is where the fun the fun stuff is. Drawing all those little all those little details. And let's just put the shading in there because of the 
the eye thing. Anyway, right, there we go. That's a blade. I will do the Magus next time. And uh, yeah, cool, right. Now I know that was about as ranty and ravey as it always is. There's a little meat cleaver. I shall do the maggots and then I shall do the teeth and stuff because I'm just rambling on. Um, and in other news, join that, go join that and put forth suggestions and stuff for what you'd like to see for a future thing. Um, I'm currently drawing this, if you didn't know. I will eventually finish this Michael Myers piece, um, which is looking pretty cool. Inspired by a little doodle I did once, a little doodle. I thought, oh, that looks good. Why not just actually draw Michael Myers, but in my own way? And then if it comes out any good, I shall be drawing Leatherface. There's his mask up there. Um, and Jason. There's his mask up there. Um, but I won't be drawing David ba Bowie. Oh, I have drawn David Bowie before, and I have drawn a UFO before. There's that skeleton I made from that other video. Why am I doing this? Right, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that I'll draw that in due time. And um, we'll continue with that next time. So, cool. And go oh, draw that. Bye. Thank you. And Bunny, thank you for your um, suggestion as well. Thank you very much.